The Atlas CCV is an uncrewed ground vehicle that gives military commanders an exciting new tactical option while keeping soldiers out of danger. It represents another autonomous offering, further highlighting that remote operations represent the future of warfare. The Atlas has been designed to give armies a significant edge in contemporary combat scenarios, with this autonomous combat vehicle tailored to execute the monotonous, hazardous, and arduous tasks common in warfare. Let's take a closer look. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. BAE Systems Australia has showcased its new uncrewed ground vehicle called the Autonomous Tactical Light Armor System Collaborative Combat Variant in Melbourne. This is a significant new development as it's the first vehicle of its kind to be developed in Australia. The Atlas CCV was designed and built in collaboration with several companies, including Supercat in the UK, Valhalla Turrets in Slovenia, and Australian manufacturer Mirand. It's an 8x8 modular vehicle that integrates autonomous technology with existing armored vehicle systems. The Atlas CCV was completed in July and has been rapidly developed following a contract awarded to Supercat in June of the previous year. Australia does not currently have a requirement for such a vehicle, so it has been designed with international demand in mind. That being said, the Atlas is already being pitched to the Australian Army, with the demonstrator wearing the service's camouflage colors. The Australian Department of Defense has been very keen on the use of uncrewed systems, especially in the air domain, but also increasingly at sea. Now, BAE Systems is trying to jump on interest in these emerging technologies in the land warfare branch. The demonstrations of the vehicle have excited the military world, but there is still work to be done to qualify its various subsystems, train its software, and incrementally release operating constraints. But it's thought that the Atlas is around 90% complete. Its speedy development has been helped massively by work that BAE Systems Australia has performed on creating a fleet of optionally manned M113 vehicles. The Atlas is also able to complete tasks typically characterized as dull, dirty, and dangerous in combat environments, but without troops on board. It's planned to improve the Australian Army's operations in various environments by improving maneuverability and responsiveness to both conventional and unconventional threats. It's been engineered to function autonomously both on-road and in rugged terrain, improving the capabilities of crewed vehicles like infantry fighting vehicles and main battle tanks. The vehicle is an 8x8 modular drive unit weighing 10 tons. Importantly, it can be upgraded over time to adapt to improving technologies and threats. The vehicle uses the BAE's established autonomous uncrewed systems architecture, which has been key in powering different uncrewed aircraft, vehicle systems, and autonomous missile defense technologies. Other key design features include the fact that the Atlas CCV has been purpose-built to fit into a standard 20-foot ISO container or flat rack, allowing for easy transport by fixed-wing aircraft or landing craft to get to the battlefield faster. Its modular configuration lets it perform various combat roles, including counter drone operations and indirect fire support. As a fully autonomous vehicle, it's able to avoid obstacles and build a route, but it's also able to make tactical decisions independently. For this, a number of different sensors are built into the vehicle, which gives situational awareness, as well as communication with other platforms. Although it has this autonomous capability, the control of fire stays with the operator of the vehicle, with what is known as a human-in-the-loop targeting system. The Atlas can spot targets, but it is the person controlling who will make the decision to destroy the identified target. To help with these features, its advanced sensor suite includes a 360-degree multispectral automatic target detection, tracking, and classification system with capabilities such as day cameras, thermal imaging, acoustic sensors, passive electronic warfare, stereo vision, and LiDAR. To neutralize threats, the Atlas is equipped with the Vantage Automated Turret System, a medium caliber turret that has been specifically designed for uncrewed platforms. This is armed with an M242 Bushmaster 25mm chain gun with a range of up to 1.5 miles or 2.5 kilometers and is seen in various combat vehicles like the Bradley M2A2. 
It has a dual ammunition feed system and a capacity for 260 rounds, which lets it sustain multiple engagements. Because this vehicle is modular, there are different options for how the Atlas CCV can destroy the enemy, including a 120mm mortar. When it's been shown at exhibitions, this UGV has been presented with the Vantage turret with an M242. This will be its main setup taking into account that it is effective not only against light armored vehicles, but also against tanks, effectively demonstrated by the defense forces of Ukraine. Thanks to a dual ammunition feed system, it is possible to switch between different types of shells with a ready-use ammunition capacity of 260 rounds. The relatively small size but significant firepower of the Atlas CCV makes it a perfect companion for crewed combat vehicles, letting it maintain contact with both tracked and wheeled vehicles across a variety of terrains and conditions. It has been designed for roles like flank security, target identification, engagement, reconnaissance, and direct fire support. Its autonomous systems offer several different operational modes, including teleoperation, follow me mode with obstacle avoidance, waypoint navigation, and goal-based mission planning. The vehicle is able to exhibit dynamic behaviors like real-time user control, autonomous pathfinding, and obstacle avoidance as mentioned earlier. Built on a high-mobility chassis with a Supercat driveline, the vehicle shares commonality with the HMT family of vehicles. It is powered by a Cummins ISB 6-cylinder 6.7-liter diesel engine and an Allison 3000 automatic transmission, which gives it excellent mobility across various terrains. The design of the Atlas includes an 8-wheel drive system, central tire inflation, run-flat inserts, all-axle steering, and crab walk capability, letting it navigate gap crossing, vertical steps, slopes, and tight turns. Despite the fact that the vehicle is unmanned, this doesn't mean that it isn't protected. The vehicle's survivability features include tailored protection options to reduce mass while safeguarding critical subsystems like its autonomy technology and ammunition storage. The Atlas can carry several tones of payload within its protected hull, including ammunition, fuel, rations, water, and mission-critical equipment to support companion crewed platforms. All of these features have been built to help soldiers outpace, outmaneuver, and outthink conventional and unconventional threats. The Atlas has been built on more than 30 years of complex autonomous projects. The vehicle will compete in the medium UGV sector against the likes of the GDLS TRX, Textron Systems Ripsaw M5, and Milrim Type X, all of which are tracked. However, the wheeled Atlas has a huge advantage in terms of road mobility and speed. It's thought it could potentially become a leader in its field. By adding uncrewed platforms like the Atlas CCV to ground forces, BAE Systems has suggested that overall costs will be driven down, with UGVs being cheaper to produce and to operate since they require a smaller personnel footprint. At the same time, the company very much sees Atlas CCV alongside crewed platforms like tanks and infantry fighting vehicles for the future of the battlefield. For example, another role outlined for the Atlas CCV is reconnaissance, which the baseline vehicle will be able to carry out thanks to its complex sensor suite mentioned earlier that includes a multi-spectral automatic target detection, tracking, and classification system. Using this, the Atlas CCV could scout ahead of crewed fighting vehicles, venturing first into more dangerous areas to find targets that it could then engage itself or provide coordinates for crewed platforms to attack. This sums up exactly why the Atlas has been designed as it would be expected to take on more dangerous missions on behalf of crewed ground forces. This also includes flank security, target identification and engagement, combat reconnaissance, and direct fire. For these sorts of missions, the vehicle's combination of firepower, compact size, and high mobility are massive sailing points. The Atlas CCV's mobility is claimed to be sufficient for it to work as a combat wingman for crewed tracked vehicles as well as wheeled ones. Taking all of this into consideration, this vehicle is likely to be a very attractive prospect for armies worldwide. What are your thoughts on the Atlas CCV? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.